It's earnings season and Serge Berke is keeping a close eye on how the dollar and energy prices may have impacted company results in the second quarter. Last earnings season, the, the dollar played a big role in uh, large U.S. corporates uh, and oil prices uh, played a role for en the energy sector. So uh, the energy sector, which makes up almost 8% of the S&P 500, um, is actually very crucial to watch here. So oil prices have bounced between 10 and 15%, depending on how you measure it, uh, in the second quarter alone. So that could bring some surprises, uh, either positive or negative. So I think we need to really watch that closely. The dollar has actually come off its high, so the headwinds should be somewhat less uh, for large, for large uh, S&P 100 companies. Uh, at the same time, the trend remains higher. So there too, I'd, I'd, I'd watch what the companies are saying and really read into the earnings reports and the outlook uh, more so than probably the first time in about 12 months or so. Analysts have been lowering their expectations ahead of the Q2 earnings, which could bring some positive surprises. If we see more companies beat than not, very simply, you should probably see better price action. Um, and uh, while I'm not quite sure we, we see that Im immediately, I do think my base case for a good stock market rally in the second half of 2015 remains, uh, remains there. So you know, the fact that analysts have lowered their expectations could be a trigger to that. Here are the sectors that Search is most interested in. I'll be watching the financial companies uh, and the energy companies, the financial companies very specifically because of the interest rate movements. We've had a lot of steepening in the longer end of the yield curve, and that's going to have interesting inter dynamics on these companies. And of course, the energy sector, which, which continues to be uh, a very important part of the S&P, uh, but also one that uh, that is very much in flux with the oil prices, which seem to have stabilized. But then you have the rising dollar dynamics, which sort of speak against that. So a lot of moving pieces there to, to, to look at this, this earnings season. Among the stocks to watch, ExxonMobil and Facebook. For the first time in about 12 months, for me, the earnings season this time around is actually something that can be uh, looked at a little bit more through the lens of single name stocks as well as sectors as opposed to just the broader market. So I'm specifically looking at things like ExxonMobil, uh, you know, large integrated oil company that uh, should at the margin give us a bit of a better feel of what the trend in some of these energy companies uh, looks like. Uh, and then more from a momentum perspective, I think interesting, interesting is something like Facebook, which has shown relative strength year to date but has actually failed to give us any real follow through buying from a technical perspective. So if we see stocks like that start to give us a little more fluid price action to the upside, we should be able to see also, I think, better price action in the broader, uh, broader stock market.